What's going on warriors? I hope you had a fantastic day. I am like a warrior and welcome to the channel. So today I want to talk about what happened with Conan Exiles and why I got bored of it and really my opinion on what Funcom are doing wrong. So at the end of the day this is my opinion 100%. I'm not influenced by anyone else and you know you may not agree with me which is perfectly fine. Feel free to express your opinions as well directly to me in the comments below. So starting off uh, I came from Ark, and when I played Conan Exiles for the first time, it was amazing. I loved it. The combat was brilliant. The customization was amazing. The map was great. Loved the the lore that was entwined with the game. I just loved everything about it. It had so much potential, in my opinion, and had so far to go. I mean, I'd been waiting and hoping for a game just like this to come out so I could play with my friends and have a fucking blast. And I thought this was it. So Funcom announced that they were going to try and add mounts, pets and magic, which hyped me up so much. I was so ready. You know, I started playing this game. It was brilliant and everything that they were thinking about adding was hyping me up even more you know everyone's been wanting these things it's going to make the game so much better than it already was but what happened was something else so as we know mounts were kind of cancelled because of technical issues with bringing them into the game even though personally I felt like they could have come up with a workaround for it um, as of today pets have been implemented which is great and magic is possibly somewhere still on the horizon but what really fucking pissed me off is their DLC the first couple DLCs there they brought out were paid DLCs okay fair enough Funcom it's their game they can do whatever the fuck they want that's fine but it pisses me off that they're they were saying they're going to bring out all these things, or they're going to try and implement these things, but the first couple of DLCs that they bring out are paid for DLCs. You have to pay for them. And not only do you have to pay for them after buying the full game, but they're adding weapons, armors, and building materials that are stronger than the ones that we've already got. It may be a little bit stronger, but it's still stronger. So you have to pay for something that's like a stronger material now you know in my opinion that's f a bit fucking shoddy there it's a bit shady in my opinion but to be fair to them I don't think those materials are strong enough to make a real impact or difference but I just feel like it's a big kick in the face for us fans that were so hyped about these things that they're saying they were going to bring out but instead the first two things that they bring out seem pretty cool yeah and it's great but you have to pay for it and it's essentially pay to fucking win now on top of this adding salt to the wound when i was playing there were huge huge glitches going around that people were using to exploit the game and ultimately ruin the experience for me i know ultimately legit everyone on our fucking server were using that one glitch where they had full stats which ruined the entire game for me and our clan. Ultimately having our server experience ruined by glitches, bugs and people exploiting them, our private um, servers being ruined by corrupt admins, having to wait for these announced DLCs to come out with the mounts and the pets and the magic but then having the kick in the face of the paid DLC not wanting to pay for that after we forked out for the the whole game in the first place kinda just killed the game for me and at least quite a few of the people I know. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you had the same opinion as me or if you have a different opinion to me. Let me know about your experiences in Conan Exiles. So thank you very much, subscribe if you're new, like the video if you liked it. I'll see you guys later.